I was mad as hell, and I'm not gonna take this anymore. They put cameras up, and then they say, it's for your safety. It's always the best line and the best way and reason of doing it. They put cameras up everywhere, like on buses, look around, on buses, up on street signs, just like that, I've just, we've both just video, and they say, this is for your safety, that's why we're watching you, for your safety. Be scared, because the same way the state works with, make everyone scared and control them through fear, right? So, that's the best way to do it. So, when they put cameras everywhere, it's for your safety. It's not so that we can watch you, track you, trace you, and see every little thing that you're doing 24 hours a day. No, no, no. No, it's just so that you can be safe, so you don't get killed or stabbed or shot in the face. That's really why the cameras are there. You know, work out yourself, for fuck's sake. Look how many there are for your safety. I mean, please. It's to control you and watch you and follow you everywhere you go. And that's why there's cameras everywhere. Big Brother is definitely watching. In parts of the country, you can be caught on security cameras hundreds of times a day. Not only do these cameras keep an eye on you, some of them actually tell you off. Here's NBC's Donna Friesen. In Britain, there is no escaping them. More than four million security cameras. Seen, but not heard, until now. Morning. You have been monitored by CCTV. In the town of Middlesbrough, seven CCTV cameras have been fitted with loudspeakers. It's a pilot project, a new way to make the streets safer and cleaner, according to Mayor Ray Mallon, a former police officer whose nickname is Robocop. What I want to do is transfer the fear from the member of the public to the criminal. Police say this new system not only cuts down on violent crime, but antisocial behavior, too. The female with the brown sport on, can you please pick the rubbish up and put it in the bin? Thank you. You're welcome. All right, they're ready for me. Let's go. Come, on, come over and get the pretty little red light. Come on. Isn't that pretty? And they'll put a nice little clinic in here in the next few years for urine and blood testing like Clinton wants. What do I have to hide? I'm a criminal. There we have it. Nice little pretty red light. Get that, Mike. There we have it. Your photograph, they capture your signature, they capture your thumbprint, and now Clinton wants urine and blood, and I've given that to the media, the actual federal register that he wants the states to implement. And I guess it tells them how to put clinics in, and it tells them how to urine and blood test law-abiding citizens, not under 18, like the media says. Hi. How you doing? I am here with eight forms of identification. I have my passport, here's that, my name, and the form you asked me to fill out. I have no criminal record. My name is Alexander Emmerich Jones. Here is my passport. Here is my insurance. Here is another form of ID. Here is my old driver's license. Here is my birth certificate. And here is my W-2 form. And uh, here is two more insurance cards, old ones, just so you can double check. It sends a health club you card. Got me ID. We're okay. good to go. We're going to get you a different right now. I need for you to answer these first three questions. Take a look at these questions there and go over this thing. So I don't have to thumb scan. Well, we're going to get to that. You are eventually going to have to. Yes, sir. But not now. Not at this point, but you will. Concerning driver's license issuing. You just follow orders, don't you? So you're saying you're going to deny me the constitutional right to travel if I do not submit to this digital thumb scanning. What I will tell you is today you will not receive a duplicate driver's license if you do not submit to a thumb scan. Okay. Look, I feel like I'm being raped here. Well, I would sit down here for hours to try to see what I could have done. Then just give me my license without digitally thumb scanning. I am not going to violate you. Is there a religious exception? No. Is there a religious exception? No. No, sir, there's not. Everyone must take the mark. A digitally enhanced mark. I'm not talking about mark. A digital tattoo. I know. Your, your ID, you are good to go. Yeah, well, if I'm good to go, why do you need my thumbprint? Because it's part of the procedure of It's part of built. It's part of Bill Clinton's law, isn't it? It's, it's an executive order. It's a decree by Bill Clinton. NCIC. Yeah, and if I drive without a license, what's, what's the penalties for driving without a license? You know, I don't even want to do it. That's right. I'm asking you. You're an officer. I'm asking you the law. I would be glad to sit down. So you're saying I'll be committing a crime by driving if I don't take your mark. I would be glad to do anything I can. Well, see, you're saying, Officer Ard, you're... 
You're sitting here, Sergeant, and telling me that you're all friendly and you're all nice. But I'll be pulled over and given tickets. If I don't pay those, I will go to jail because I, because of my morals and, and my beliefs, I will not take this. And I'm here to tell you, I already took this in 93, and many people will say, well, well you've already taken it. What's your problem with it? Because now I've figured out what this is, and I'm opposing all those others that are being herded in here like cattle to be some scan like criminals. Yes. Yeah. If I know that you're not going to submit to a thumbprint, why waste your time? See, right up front, they will drop, and people are being turned away all day here. So you're saying I pay my taxes, I'm raped by the IRS, which is criminal. You know, it's, it's well known. You heard the key word, submit. Submit. He just said I must submit. I'm telling you, I've never been to jail. I don't know. What do you want me to do for you? I, I want you to give me my driver's license. I want my driver's license. I am not a criminal. I may become one today, but that's fine be penalized for not having a driver's license, by not being able to cash a check, by being given tickets, that if I don't pay those tickets, I'll be taken to jail. I can't travel out of state. I can't get on board an airplane. And the media is talking about thumb scanning to travel. You're working with the foreign banks and the military industrial complex. This is all their idea. Read the military war college from 1968. They planned this. Just because you lay around doesn't mean it's not true. This is not a publicity stunt. I was a lot happier years ago before I got into all this garbage. I'm sick of sheep laying down. I wish you'd get up and do something. Makes me want to vomit. Our forefathers went to World War II and World War I and fought in the Civil War to end slavery, and it means nothing to y'all. We're a bunch of yellow-bellied weaklings. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of people laying down like a bunch of jellyfish and rationalizing what's going on. People ought to be ashamed of themselves. I'm the car. Sorry, yes, exactly. Now look very carefully at Mike Cox. He is head public information officer for all of Texas for the DPS. They weren't going to arrest me, but about 15 minutes into the protest, he showed up. Things changed dramatically. He walked up, stared at me, turned, walked back to the back. They had a little meeting together, and then they came and arrested me. If yeah, right. Now, I will be forced to arrest Sir, I'm here to get a driver's license. I have never had a criminal record. It's time to go. Here I go. Get my stuff for me. DPS was very professional, but they did the classic bait and switch. They got all the troopers on one side of the building and made us think that I was coming out there. I hope we've painted you a picture of what's really happening here in the nation. I respect what you said, but remember that these men have lands and classes. It's much to risk. And the common man that bleeds on the battlefield, does he risk this? Men don't follow titles, they follow courage. And if you would just lead them to freedom, they'd follow you. And so would I. Wallace. 
doesn't even have a knighthood, but he fights with passion and he inspires. 